I'm Shabir Simji. I am Elanco's Chief Medical Officer. I am in charge of Elanco's antimicrobial portfolio. So the topic of antibiotic resistance is a very important topic uh, across the board, uh, both in human and in veterinary medicine. Particularly in the veterinary sector, the concern is that by using antibiotics in animals, uh, we create resistance. Our priority is to use antibiotics responsibly so we get the, so we get the best clinical outcome for the animal with least selective pressure that can compromise antibiotic use in humans. Elanco Animal Health was the first company that came out with antibiotic stewardship principles in veterinary medicine. Uh, these were the uh, eight-point uh, stewardship plan that was released in 2014. And that took us through from 2014 till 2020. And then in 2021, Elanco released its antibiotic guiding principles, which is the next version of the antibiotic stewardship guideline, which will then take uh, the company through from 2021 through to 2030. And it, um, it's our overarching principles on how antibiotics should be used in veterinary medicine. Where we do have sick animals, currently we do not have an alternative to antibiotics to treat those animals and um, with respect to animal welfare and so on we need to be able to treat those animals so the focus is not entirely on reducing antibiotic usage by compromising animal welfare with that in mind our focus is shifting from antibiotics especially shared class antibiotics to disease prevention and when we say disease prevention, we are now focusing on things like nutritional health, which includes probiotics, prebiotics, and vaccines. So if you can prevent the disease from happening, you then don't need antibiotics to be treating those diseases. I think one of the best examples that um, Elanco has shown in terms of antibiotic stewardship was back uh, at the end of 2016. The FDA was revising its guidelines on responsible use of antibiotics. And one of the points that the FDA proposed, uh, which was aligned with the WHO, was that shared class antibiotics should not be used for growth promotion purposes, and this was a US-specific regulation. As a company, we then took the initiative and said, rather than making it a US-specific regulation, we would remove growth promotion claims of all our shared class antibiotics globally. Financially, that had implications for the company, but that was the most responsible thing to do. If we need to use antibiotics, we need to use antibiotics to treat those animals. But it's not about reducing antibiotic usage, but it's about using antibiotics responsibly in the correct way, the correct manner, so you don't compromise um, antibiotic use in human medicine.